mate. You made a blue. Just wait, they're coming. Yeah, so it's Christmas. That's them. Huh? That's them. Where? There. You sure? Yeah, no, another car. Right. This was a stupid thing for us to do. When I was young and Bobby Chapman swore it'd be an easy go. It's at the back. Yeah, it's a bag. How long are they usually in there for? Two minutes. Two minutes? Hey, two minutes. Yeah, Rock, I'm going to go straight in. Okay, I'm going okay, you got your stuff. You got your stuff ready? Right? Stuff, all right. All right, ready? Yes. Nice. Okay. We missed the Fielders Bakery payroll, and that was the end of our professional association. I had a few old stealing charges still hanging around. Smith, I've come to report, mate. You're a bit late, aren't you? No. What time are you supposed to report? Gotcha, Nettie. Serious, mate. You can bank on it, sunshine. It didn't take long for me and the Dodger to become friends. The thing you should know about Roger is he's a man of his word. He's not actually a physical person as far as actually giving you an even chance. We know you and Chapo tried to rob Fielder's bakery. How do you think we got onto you, Ned? Eh? Chapo's wife gave you up. She said you were driving. Still awake? She's a fucking jukebox, that girl. Drop two bob in a slot and away she goes. <laughs> you got quite a few mentions. You're out on bail on another matter, aren't you, Dan? Now, we got your girlfriend. You might have to charge her if you can't assist us with our inquiry. Bullshit. Bullshit? Bullshit? Attempt <coughs> robbery. Attempt murder. Possession of an unlicensed weapon. Stolen vehicle. You got no aces, Ned. You got no chips. You got nothing. Now, Deborah's outside. Either you come to the party, or I'll lock her up too. What do you say? I thought deeply about this and decided to go the opposite way to normal. No smart mouth. I'm trying to be a big shot. Get fucked. Listen to me, you cheap, disgusting piece of shit. I know your form now. You're a pimp and a maggot. You just cop 12 years for rape. You and three pigs gang banged a young mother. And you spit in the face while you were doing it. They didn't smack your ass hard enough the day you were born, Ned. But now, you're in my sights. From now on, wherever you are, whenever you see me, you'll address me as Detective Sergeant Rogers, and you understand? Uh, 
big. You have to charge them. So I'm not coming to sweep, man. Here's your hands about charge now. Even a low mongrel like you has to learn a few tricks, Ned. From now on, you're working for me. He's been talking his head off, Lyle. You can go ahead and charge him. You've got your toes for the fielder's bakery job. I don't know what you've done to upset Detective Sergeant Rogerson, but I don't think it's a wise move. I don't know either, mate. I don't know. I didn't do it. Well, what's that got to do with it? We've got you. Yeah. Well, you're going to burn me anyway. It's a very unfortunate phrase. Well, that's what the Dodger's going to do, isn't it? The Dodger? Yeah. Well, it's not Detective Sergeant Rogerson's brief. Everyone says that you're a good crook. But it's been a long day today. Everyone's very impressed. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'd like to know if you're going to do any business with us. Well, I'm broke, mate. I ain't got any money. I'm going to sit. I'm broke. Then you'll have to work it off, won't you? He got me a job looking after Kenny Durling, the biggest heroin dealer in the eastern suburbs. I made a lot of contacts and a whole lot of money. In a year, I was pushing more drugs than anyone in the country. And Roger was about to become a legend. I never met Butchie Burns. He was just a scrawny punk who shot up a pub, killed a few people, and went in the run. Fuck, let's do it. He was scum. Come on. Come on. This shit happening. When Roger wore that band, he was a man with a mission to make life as tough for criminals and as easy for him as he could. After this, didn't have to buy a beer for six months. While the Dodgers make the big name for himself, I went back into Long Bay on a drugs trafficking charge. It took me two years to get out and bail. And if they got me on this one, I was going down for a ten year stretch. Whatever it took, I had to beat it. But I wasn't down. I had plenty of reason to pose. I had everything. I had to go in and me get out and get mine. Most of these shipmen had no go in them at all. They just bludged on the doll, too lazy to work. Not enough dash in to get any other way. They were just dreamers. That's as far as any of them ever get. Hey, boys. During the two years I robbed in jail, I was told I had Parkinson's disease. A week later, I married Deborah in the governor's office. We already had a couple of kids, so I suppose it's about bloody time. <coughs> Our third child was conceived the day I got out. <laughs> Deborah remembers the exact moment. They're all the same to me. There's only one way to do it, Dorman. Hard and fast. They know that and they respect it. None of this continental stuff. They just get confused. You're not going back inside, are you? 
Oh, Jesus, darling, let me get my breath back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Filthy bastard. <laughs> no, I meant jail. No, Deb, I'm not going back in. I say it like you mean it. Yeah, Nitty, say it like you mean it. No, Deb, I'm never going back in. Deborah wants me to get a real job, mate. My best mate was Abbo Henry. A big, strong bastard who stuck to you like shit to a blanket. I don't think she's serious. And my Jesus, did he love a fight? She's right, mate. Can't sit here doing nothing. Waiting for something to happen. You know me, old son, rearing to go. Gotta get back in the harness. Break the ice. Hey, it's off. Yeah. Maybe there's something we can work on together. Yeah, well, I'm not sitting around here waiting for something to happen, that's for sure. I waited all this time for you to get out. Save myself up for you, man. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Oh, yeah. oh. uh, we're going to have a little word to Rogerson first. If we teamed up together, nobody could touch us. You know I'm reliable, Ned. You know I am. Hey, come out with your hands up. Come on, there's a stick up. That thing loaded, mate. Come on. You can have a go at us now. Put your hands up. Thank you. Pow, pow, pow. Gotcha. Load go on, piss off. Go and play around the corner. Load it next time, mate. <laughs> and this year's recipient is a man of great courage. A man who has put his own life on the line for his fellow officers. A man who represents all that is honest and honorable in the force. And an inspiration to all of us who aspire to the highest standards of professional conduct and integrity. It's my pleasure to announce the winner of this year's Peter Mitchell Award. I had my own problems, but it was a good year for the Dodger. Detective Sergeant Roger Rogerson. They give him a medal for catching a crim in a garage. He told me later he should have shot the guy. His self-control was legendary. Now I need him. I had these drugs charged to beat. Uh, so you're starting off on the wrong foot, mate. I don't help you. You help me, and then we see what's left over. Oh, conspiracy to supply, mate. Jesus yeah. Christ. Spare me, you know. You're looking at ten years. I know, mate. Tell me about it. You're cold. You're no good to anybody. You, let's face it, you're shit. Mate, I've got to beat him. I'm going to bet I'm not going back inside, they will kill me. No, it's... Uh, I've got to know if there's anything to be done. Well, you know, I can ask around. The important thing for me, Ned, is how useful you want to be. You know what I'm saying? So what, you can do something? If there's anything you think I should know about, and let's face it, I should know about everything. Thanks, Billy. Jesus Christ, mate, come on, I mean, you know, a bit of information about anything that's going down, but no names, come on, I'm not going to be a dog, mate, jeez, you know? Sure. I'm ready to work, man, I'm ready to work. I've got a few things lined up. But if you hear of any action, you know, I'll shift anything, mate, I'll shift anything. I'll give us a ring next week. <clears throat> the thing you got to remember is uh, Roger's as busy as a one-armed paper boy these days. Yeah, I know, mate, tell me that. Best to make an appointment. <laughs> Eddie! Oh, you're a bit slow, Ned. Don't ever speed up, Ned. Don't ever do it. Are you going to take me on, Ned? Don't ever do that, Ned. You know it's good for you. You're going to take me on, Ned? When I met Warren Lane French in jail, he could do 400 sit-ups in a trot. I liked his style right from the word go. Hey! Woohoo! Nice stuff. But a man has to make a living. So it was time to get back into what I knew best. 
You know, one week to get rid of this shit, mate. Give me two days. Two days. Two days. Two days. You listen to me. It's good stuff. We meet up every Sunday down the Star Hotel and we split the profits. Now, hey, you don't turn up and we come looking for you. We don't find you. We don't find you, mate. We get madder. The madder we get. I'll be there, man. I want more gear to get rid of. I want more gear. Good. Yeah, I want more gear to get rid of. It's good stuff. This is the best stuff, mate. Where do you get this stuff from, mate? It's not for you to know, sonny boy. I reckon you wouldn't want me to know anyway. You ask too many. You got a problem, mate? Yeah, I've got a problem with that. Ned, we don't need this shit. We don't even know this boy. It's all right, mate. I know him. Hammo's right, mate. You ask too many questions. It was Anzac Day. Warren, Abbo and me were running the tour at the Broadway Hotel. It was a good go to Warren got me a stink with this guy about the pennies. A month after that, Abbo was doing a little bit of business on his own. Tommy Tony once made up to you, man. I just did a pound and fifty grand cock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take care of that, man. I'll get you the day. I didn't think the cops touched your stuff. Yeah, well, it doesn't stop you from doing your homework. Well, you want to get those pricks in the drug squad to stop looking like doom, mate. Jesus Christ, I'm hungry. I'll shout you this one, mate. Yeah, my word, you will. I'll shout you. Don't worry. Don't worry about that pound. We'll get it back over the weekend. Come on! That's just for you to know. Yeah, safe okay? it, safe it, don't worry. Don't worry man. Listen, I've got troubles of my own, Roger. I've got these charges coming up me real fast, for Christ's sake. Mate, can something be done? Can something be done? Something be done, yeah. for Christ's sake. 
Well, I've had a chat with Mal Rivers. He's seen the brief. Um, you reckon you're gone, mate? Yeah, hey, boy. You reckon you're down for the count? Can it be done, Roger? Can it be done? Well, you might be happy to do a bit of business. Right, well, can you guarantee me? I mean, I want him to know I can be trusted. Can you guarantee me? Well, you know, trust it's takes time, time, Ned. Yeah, I know that it takes time. Can you talk to him? Can you talk to him? So will you guarantee me? For? I get a drink. Jesus, mate. Can Dolly part and float, for Christ's sake? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, mate, just... Just tell him I can be trusted with you, huh? Just tell him. Ned, you're never out of my thoughts, mate. Don't forget it. I fixed it so Abbo got a year and a half. The minister, Rex Buckets Jackson, took a gift, and he is out in only ten months. Not bad for a pound of gear. Puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Cash, bash, and the gas. It'll bring you undone, son. I said, I said, Jesus Christ, mate. I mean, what's life worth living for? <laughs> Only thing worth shit, I reckon, mate. That's my point exactly, Ned, you know? I mean, a bit of dough, a, a good feed, a bit of a knuckle, a good root. I mean, what more do you want? My freedom? <laughs> you can't stop thinking about this blue, can you? Just worry. You want to beat it? Well, I wouldn't be sitting here wasting an afternoon. Good money on you otherwise, would I, you dopey bastard? It's a piece of piss. I'll organise the smack to get out of the safe. Me and Terry Green, well, we'll switch it. When it goes to court, you get your counsel to ask for an independent analysis. They'll see there's a switch, and you're in the clear. And that's the way it worked. That one cost us 30000 to fix. Easy come, easy go. I'd beat me charges, the dough was rolling in, and I was on top of the world. Best place to be. Jeez, look at this useless point. Christ. I'll say one thing for Warren. He took his collection duties very seriously. It was a day late, that guy, mate. Day too late. All the junkies are trouble, mate. You want to keep right away from me. Sally Ann Huckster was more than trouble. If Warren had told me he was living with a prostitute and a junkie, I'd have told him to get rid of her. What are you doing up here? Hey? Nothing. What are you doing up here? I just came out to visit some friends. I just wanted to get out of the house. Oh, you come up to the cross? What are you coming up to the cross for? What am I supposed to do? Sit at home and watch days of our lives all day? You using something, huh? Show me your Jesus Christ, Warren, you stupid asshole. Let's go. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're going to show me what's in the bag. There is nothing in the bag. You're up here screwing some guy. How the hell am I okay. supposed to trust you, huh? How am I supposed to trust you, Sally? I hate all this shit. You are so bloody jealous. Junkies, you're all bloody shit. I am not a junkie. Well, you're an addict. What's the difference, huh? What's I know what I am. You get it right. What, you really make me so fucking angry. You know that? Really angry. So hit me. You're a bastard, Warren. Why do you have to do that? You have to do all that stuff. I've not done that. Look at all my stuff. Sally. Sorry, okay? Sorry. I just don't want you to fight me. Okay? I don't want you to do this anymore. I told you I don't want you to do this. Anymore. Not using mine. I don't 
want anyone else. I love you. I love you too, Sarah. was always a bit wild. I like that about him. But seeing things starting to get out of hand. Get that thing off your head. not even there yet. Haven't you ever to rob a bloody bank before? But look, can't I wait till tomorrow? I'm not waiting until tomorrow, you understand? Okay. Okay. I want the fucking money today! All right. Damn me! Yes, in case this is Okay, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Pull over. Come on, pull over. Shut up! Shut the fuck up. Just let it go. Shut up and stay calm. Jesus Christ. No, the deal. You got a license there, sir? Well, who is this cruising for chicks, brother? Yeah, yeah, just cruising, mate. What's the problem, mate? You've nothing wrong. Just a routine check. Oh. What's up? Take a few days off, Ned. Well, I ain't thinking that someone misses, mate. Hmm? No, mate. Rogerson's been asking about me. Yeah? It's no good. Well, what have you done? A couple of bank hold-ups. Oh, jeez, mate. Don't want to get into that shit. It's worse than that, Ned. Me and another guy ripped off a dealer last week. Took all these drugs and all his money. I figured the dodging you in. Yeah, fool. Yeah, 
hospital. He's had me under bloody police surveillance, Ned. I got, I got choppers following me around the streets, Ned. Hey, listen to him. What's it going to do with me, huh? That's the way I want it, Ned. Yeah, but why me? Well, he's working for you, isn't he? Jesus Christ. They'll know, mate. Everybody will know. What am I going to say? Who cares? He took a shot at a patrol cop. Did you know about that, Ned? We don't like that sort of thing, Ned. You could have killed him. You can't go around taking pot shots at the cops. Yeah, some Ned. of the uniform boys saw him shaft and a shield on the back. Oh, of the Jesus mate. Christ, mate. Come on. Is that a crime, huh? was the way he was doing it. Hey, I've seen the <laughs> photographs, Ned. Hey, they're good. They're round. I can get you some. How do you want them? Mad? Glossy? All right, what do you want me to do? Will he use the gun? Oh, Jesus Christ, mate. How do I know? You just set him in the guy. He used it. What do you want me to say? For Christ's sake, huh? Well, what the hell is it? Huh? It's a 9mm. Where'd he get it? Oh. Christ, Swan and Danny Chubb specials, mate. No, I sold no, it to him. He keeps the stuff down his belt for Christ. No, 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 that's going to put a bulge in your pants, isn't it? Huh? You get him to a meeting. Okay? Okay. And you pat him down. I don't want him pulling any surprises. Take his gun. Then, when I'm finished, you give it back to him. Mate, can't you just warn him off, you know? Tell him to pull his head in and something like that, for Christ's no. sake, you know? Come on, Roger, he's a mate. Well, most of the SWAS team will be there, so you won't have anything <laughs> oh, to worry Jesus about. Jesus Christ. You're joking, you got the SWAS team. No. I'm not joking, Ned. He's a dangerous criminal. No, no, no. I want no part of this, for Christ's sake, mate. He's got a trial coming up, hasn't he? Yeah, that's, that's right, his uh, trial's coming up. And you'd want things to go as smooth as possible there, wouldn't you, Ned, eh? You blokes just want a messenger boy. We've got one. It's time to pick what you want to be, Ned. You want to be a goodie or a baddie. You want to run with us or against us? Your choice, Ned. You know, what do you want? You want to be a shithead all your life? Or we'll play A grade? Every player wins a prize, Ned. No, they don't, mate. They don't. Here. Look, you're going to have to wear a, wear a jumper or something. It's too cold. I can't wear a jumper or a coat. Right? He said, just shirt and pants. I know I'm going to be cold, but shit, that's what he wants. It's all right. Don't worry about it. The money's right. enough. Shit, the money's enough. Think it's enough? Yeah. Can you leave some money for me? Yeah, how much do you want? 40? Is it right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you want me to bring you something home when I get back? I'll bring me home some flowers while I'm... You might be the one sending me flowers, so... Okay, I've just I've got to do this, all right? You know I've got to do it. What time do you think we'll be home? I don't know, look. If I'm not back by six o'clock, I'm not coming back. Fine. Love you. 
fuck's sake, he's a mad bastard. He doesn't give a shit, mate. He's just a bit But now he's going to kill me. He's just a bit upset with you, that's all, like I said. All right. Come on, give me the gun. Is he going to take this money? Mate, that's what we're here for. Is he going to take the money? He's going to shake your hand, he's going to tell you to pull your head in, and it's going to be all right. It'll be all over. You mean it's going to be all right? And he's a killer for God's sake. Mate, we've been driving around for 40 minutes. Round, around, around. What you going to do is broad daylight. Now, come on. Give me the gun. I can't do it, Ned. Mate, you got to do it. you got to do it. Give me the gun. Come on. Just go and talk to him. Give me the gun. I can't do it! Come on, mate. It's all right. It's all right. Just go and talk. Give him the money. Tell him you're giving more. Give me the gun. Okay. Okay. Shit. Shit. I can see him, Ned. I can see him. All right, mate. Oh, shit. I'm going to be sick. Just go and talk to him. I'm going to be sick. What? Are you sick? You're supposed to be a kindergarten around here. I chose this spot especially because there's kids. It's Saturday for Christ's sake. Where's the kindergarten? Why is for Christ's sake, mate? It's Saturday. Come on. Let's do this. It's all right. It's Saturday. Hello, Warren. Francie was born in the wrong time. He was more suited to the Roaring Twenties. He wanted everything he could get out of life. The only mistake was, he wanted it all at once. Detective Sergeant, the judge will say. Detective Sergeant, you must have been in fear of your life. <laughs> judge, I'll say. The thought of getting a bullet never entered my head. <laughs> this filthy weasel, this filthy weasel had a gun and I had to stop him before he endangered the lives of my fellow police officers and the public at large. <laughs> Council assisting, some shiny ass frog straight out of uni, takes a day to tell me I've killed a man. And you know, I'll take my time too. Uh, it, is, it is a tragedy to, uh, to take a life, any life, especially one of such tender years. <laughs> Do I have to do it? I had to think about my colleagues and their loved ones. Hey, 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 hey. Especially Mal's wife when she bends over. Get that tit in the angle, Rick. Look at you, you are shit. And uh, the judge will look at me and he'll say, Detective Sergeant, we are in your very large debt. <laughs> and I'll say, well, I'll have to be humble, judge. 
<laughs> if that's the case, I'll take a very large check. <laughs> <laughs> I've been paying the police for 10 years. Um, what, as a prostitute? As a prostitute. I would have been quite happy to go on paying the police because it's a way of life and you have to... It's, it's the way that you survive. But when police become judge, and jury, an executioner, then somebody has to speak out. It's a fine declaration, but someone could still say, here's a lady who's pregnant, here's a lady who's a drug addict, here's a lady who has been or is a prostitute, she's just had her man shot. She is very bitter, and she's about to tip a bucket on everyone. Truth or non-truth? Yeah, and I'd, I'd understand why. But this is real. This is, this is not something that I have made up in revenge or in anger. This is just cold bare fact. When the car came and picked Warren up to take him to this rendezvous point, what did you say to Warren? What, what were the last moments that you remember? I asked him to bring me home some flowers and he turned around and said to me, you never know, darling, you could be sending me flowers. Yeah. After Sally Ann went on TV, so, Roger had to get everything nailed down. I know. I I've known him. Yeah, well, I've known him for years. You didn't see the gun. I didn't, didn't see the gun. I took the gun off him. I okay, listen, gun. I'll call I took you the back. gun off him. Christ. Yes, I mean, look his shit. How could I see the gun? I took the gun off him. You're just pissed off. It's a problem. Okay, He's got a memory problem. He didn't see the gun. Yeah, I know that. I took the gun off, Warren. I took the gun no, off. No, steady on. I took the gun it's off. All right, I had mate. the gun. Okay, fine, Ned. Don't burst an artery. It's fine. We'll work out a way, won't we, Mel? You bet, mate. All right, all right. Keep it simple. Eddie. And Franchi wanted the meeting, mate. I agree. Yeah, you, you, look, you brought him there. And he well, pulled hey, the gun. Hey, hey, well, I, I, I'm not saying I was there. Mate, you were there. I you fucking said shot. you were there I didn't in see statement. him get shot. I didn't see him get shot. All right. I didn't see him get shot. All right, I didn't see him. I'm not saying he pulled the gun. All right, fine. I'm not saying I pulled Okay, it. fine. You didn't see anything. You drove away. All right? You didn't, didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. I didn't see him. Are you going to come through on this or not? You drove off. You didn't see anything. Now, I don't want to be here all night, Ned. You do what I tell you. Over here, over here. Did you love him? You shot him. She was murdered. Get out the way. Move. Rogerson shot him. Rogerson do you know whether he habitually carried a gun in the front of his trousers? Well, he told me he carried a gun permanently. Where he carried it, I don't know. But you didn't look in the front of his trousers on the 27th of June. No, I didn't have a chance to. And you didn't try to search him in the car? Well, well I was driving. How could I search him? Did you walk with him at all down Beaumont Street? No, I walked to the car. Well, I walked to the back of my car with him. And what was he doing when you last saw him? He 
because uh, well, he was, he was walking towards Detective Sergeant Rogerson. Was he frightened? Well, he's nervous and agitated, yes. Did he tell you that he was frightened of being shot? No. I suppose we should thank you. Yeah, mate, we know it couldn't have been easy. Yeah, we're all very grateful. Your future's been discussed at great length. And you are what you are. A crook. So we've decided to give you a green light. Do you understand? I'm not going to tell anyone. Has anyone asked you to? Just accept it. And if you run into a blue, contact one of us straight away. You can do what you want. There aren't any rules bar one. Never shoot a cop. If a punter gets in the way, then that's fair game. Do you understand now? Soon, I was part of Roger's inner circle, and I discovered that these cops were only ordinary blokes, just like me. No different. That's it. See you find a ball. Well, you can have your ah, choice, but I wouldn't ah, have cops. You shoot a ball with the thin ones, you know. They They're cook first. They are thin ones. What a fat butcher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Good on you, love. <laughs> hey, Ned. Me and the boys have uh, passed the hat around. We decided to send you and Deborah off on a cruise. Yeah. What do you think about that? Very bloody nice, mate. Hey, what do you think about the green light? Yeah, it's pretty good, mate. How many other blokes got it? Nobody. On your Pat Malone, son. What, I'm the only one. Yeah, we shot all the others. Oh, Jesus. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus! Hey, Mal's got a little urn you might be interested in. Look, there's an armed rob in town, mate. You interested? Fair shit in the woods, mate. Diamonds. Worth millions. And the guy wants to get robbed, you know. He, uh, he just takes the insurance. It's got to look real. There'll be plenty of witnesses, but they won't know what's going on. It's a sweet guy. Ned, this is a gift. Best transport for cutting through any traffic problems. We got short chains in that wake up. Never seen none of the insurance money neither. Everyone see this, mate. What they get good description. All right, Nanny will take care of it when we get back there. You going back there, mate? Sure. First on the scene of the crime. <laughs> <laughs> I done quite a few of these and never got charged once. I had the keys to the city. What sex drive? Oh, fuck them. Those are mate. Come on. The green light worked both ways, though. Sometimes I had to do things to keep in sweet with the cops. Like the day we took Brian Alexander out to lunch. And I invited him out in my boat to do a bit of fishing. Look at this. Go on, mate. Hi, hi. Brian was a crooked solicitor who was about to appear at the Stuart Royal Commission and give up all the crooked cops he'd ever worked with. I have to say, I never really liked him much myself. Every time I seen him, he had his hand out. Oh, you're a missing girl already. 
What's going on? I thought I'd come down, join you blokes for a few beers, a few laughs, you know, a bit of rock and roll out here. Is this your fishing spot, Ned? Ah, it's one of my fishing spots, mate. <laughs> Where's the rods? Where's the bait? <laughs> the bait, Mal forgot the bait. <laughs> Memory like a sieve, mate. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I did the wrong thing by you, Ned. I should have given that money back, but my, my hands were tied. Uh, water under the bridge, mate. No, 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 I shouldn't have kept that 50 grand and done nothing. No, I didn't do nothing. I mean, I couldn't get any action going. And, and the shit hit the fan and, and I was warned off and... The cops had it in for you. They had it in for us. No, forget that. No, mate. please, Ned. No, forget no, that. No, please, mate. How can I settle up? Well, I think it's something. <laughs> <laughs> you always was a fair man, Ned. <laughs> mate, pass me that coat, ain't Come on, Ned. Come on, please. I'll, I'll just give you anything you want, Ned. Come on, Ned. Come you tell him now. Come on, you fucking tell him, you bastard. Don't do it to me, Ned. Come on, Ned. Right. Mate, you talk too much. It's always been in trouble. You're a dog. You're talking to the Royal Commission. No, that's bullshit. I didn't mention you. I didn't mention any of you. You bastard. No. I didn't mention any of you. No. No, you don't. No, I didn't tell you anything. Come on, Ned. Don't hurt me, Ned. No, no, no. I didn't, Ned. No. Oh, please. No, no, no. No, I'll tell him I can't remember anything. Yeah, right. Oh, 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 Hey, let me talk. Let me talk. You're going to give us up, huh? Don't let him do it, man. Don't let him do it. Shut it up, man. Oh, come on, Ned. Shut up. I've got something, Ned. Don't do it to me. No. I don't want to go. No. 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 Not this way. Don't do it. Oh, See you later. I'm safe. I'm back. The green line. It wasn't all beer and skittles. Very nice out there. Frankie! Hey, Jack. How are you hanging, son? Much happening around the traps? Oh, yeah. Uh, you remember, Chris? Jack? Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, I was starting to think I wouldn't hear from him. Yeah, well, it's all lined up. There's a bloke in Melbourne waiting to see you. His name's Brian. He'll look you over. And then it'll be yes or no. All right? Fantastic. Good. Schooner. Beautiful. Yeah, a double scotch. No ice. Thank you. Doing deals interstate really pumps me up. You're on your own. And some of the people you've got to do business with... <laughs> If they told you the sun was coming up tomorrow, you'd get a second opinion. End of story. Doing a deal makes me feel really horny, mate, you know? How about you? Feel good? Furthest thing from my mind, Brian. Shit, look at the bed, mate. Christ, I'm cooking. Woo! Cooking like gas. Yeah. Fuck. 
Could do with a drink, though. What do you reckon? Do you mind? Nah. Mmm. TV. What are you looking for, mate? Oh, mate, what do you think I'm looking for? Fairy godmother? Hey, Mum. No, mate. What do you think I'm looking for? Come on, mate, let's get this thing happening, eh? You're not feeling a bit sort of nervous, are you, mate? Where's the money? I don't think that's room service, mate. <laughs> All right. Who's this boy? Who are you? Who do you think I am? Dave. Brian. Brian. Dave. Mate? Oh, it's all there. <laughs> Mate, it looks all there. It's good money. Oh, yeah. Ooh, very grubby. Is it dirty? Got it from a good bookmaker friend of mine. Well, I hope you had a good fucking day. It's mine now. <laughs> Not yet. Tell you what, mate. Why don't you take a seat? Not a problem. Good stuff. Very amenable, this man. Down to work. Oh, fellas, looks good. Looks good. What can I say? It's going to be a long day. One, two, three. What happens when he runs out of bloody fingers? <laughs> Too large to cry him. Yeah. What the coat? Yeah. <laughs> mate, you're a few notes short here. No, 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 that's bullshit, mate. Mate, you are trying to cheat me, aren't you? What's going on? Uh, Brian, I think you got it wrong. I just counted the money, mate, didn't I? Well, count it again. You don't know where that money's been. You know, it might have some sauce from somebody's pie on it. You know. Oh, pull my dick, mate, get fucked. Brian, I counted that money myself, didn't I? I, I didn't touch it. I counted it myself and I went to school, all right? Now, you want to do the deal or don't you? You want to do it? <laughs> okay. Go on, senior. Jesus fucking Christ. Now you are 50 bucks over, eh? What, what are you doing to me? <laughs> Brian, what do you mean now? It's the same money, Brian. Mate, you are 50 bucks over. Look at it, 50 bucks. Keep it, mate. It's a tip, all right? One of the problems with this line of work is that trust tends to be limited by the intellect you're dealing with. Mate, now the best thing for me to do is just take the bloody cash and come back with the gear, yeah? <laughs> hey? Yeah, what do you think I am, Brian? <laughs> Mate, you're a bloody cop for all I know. Oh, well, I am a cop. Yeah? You want me to show me badge? <laughs> Shit, I left it at home. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mate. Come on. You gonna show me the heroin or what? Where's the heroin? All right. You want the heroin? Oh, mate. I'll get you the heroin. Money and stress do strange things to people. It's all set up here. He's too nervous, Alan. Mate, I've seen the money. Jesus, just this once, will you? <laughs> mate, we've got to go and get the stuff. What do you mean? My supply is not going to come here, mate. No, mate, the deal's got to be done here. Oh, come on, why does it have to be Look, done here, listen, mate? listen, the agreement was the deal's done here. It's it doesn't to done have here. to be done here. Jack, I told Jack, the deal's got to be done here, oh, right? come on, mate, he doesn't feel safe doing business anywhere but in his own place, like anyone I'm, else. Hey, I'm not leaving here. I'm not leaving here, all right? What's the problem? Doesn't he want to go through with well, it? Mate, it's no bloody big deal. He just doesn't want to expose himself. Oh, really? come on, mate. I'm not asking him to drop what, his what, pants. Why don't you let me take the money and come no, back no, with no, the gear, No, no, no. We've gone money, through this, Brian. Oh, we've got... Fuck, mate. What's Jeez. your problem? What's the Look, matter I'm with the you? One who, I'm the one who's putting this bloody deal together, so? okay? What's the problem? I mean, he doesn't know whether you're going to rip him off or not. I, oh, I don't know that. I mean, he doesn't know you're feeling far aside. You're paranoid, right? No, I mean, just because you're fucking jack, okay? It doesn't mean a fucking thing. Mate, there's 110 big ones, mate. It's just sitting there straight in, straight out. No big deal. It's yours, mate. Look, I've never asked very much as a mate now, have I? Come on, Alan, I haven't. Any time you ever want me to be there, be there, haven't I? Come on, mate. Just this one, please. Come on.
it's on, mate. Now, listen, there's no way I'm going in there. If he wants to see the gear, mate, he can come fine. out here. I'm not sure, moving from the sure, car, right? Sure, now, if there's fine. anything fishy about this guy, we're going to build the crap out of him. We're going to tape up his gold. We're going to dump him in the sticks. You've got nothing to worry about. Now, you understand this. I've come out here for you. I don't do it for anyone. Thanks, mate. If there's anything fishy about this guy, I'm holding you responsible. You'll get nothing more from me. Mate. fucking thing. She's fine. I'll get the pick. It's on. No, no, no. I told you, I'm not leaving the building, mate. Mate, yeah, mate, he's just outside around the corner. He's coming, he's in the car. Just out the front of you. The man's come here, it's just around the corner. It's not far. Come on, please. Now, come on, it's you just around the corner. Me around, I'm not stuffing you around. He's it's there fine. waiting for He came for you. Come Let's on. Let's do it. It's right. here, right? Now, down the bloody corner where Santa was going to be. Alan, mate. This is Chris Hart. Uh, dead, mate. It better not take this long next time. Listen, I didn't know whether you were for real or not. Okay? Now, I'm short about four ounces. I had another customer. I didn't know what the fuck right? was going on. All right. You get in the car, I'll show it to you. No, well, I'm not getting in any car. What's a setup? Where's a hammer? I've got it here now. Well, get in the car and show it to me. Alan, mate, come on. Well, show us the heroin, Alan. You turn that bloody thing off, you want all Melbourne to see what we're doing. Well? Four ounces in one bag. Half a pound the other. Yeah, OK, that's fine. Hey, Brian, come here for a sec, mate. Sure, mate. Look, you just wait here for a sec. I'll go and get the money, all right? Cool, mate. Three months on an operation, working with the scum of the earth and my colleagues shoot me in the foot. I hate working in this state. That's him. This is a bloke. That's him. Alan Williams. I want him caught. Who is he? Who is he? Oh, show pony. ex painter and docker. Real movie star. Can we get him? We've got Hanson. We'll find Williams. Don't you worry about that, right. Ken. 
Oh, look, circulated oh, wide, right? My, John, my informant's exposed. I mean, if, if, Rich, if, if Williams... Just hang on a sec. My informant's gone, mate. I mean, if Williams calls Richardson in Sydney, he'll know my informant's given him up. Well, I'll give you a week before I lay charges. You Can you do shit that? Out in Sydney, don't worry about all right, all right. What's he like, this bloke? What's he like, Williams? You pull in a big one. This bastard does not like being locked up. He'll get nasty. He's got big guns, lots of money in the bank, all the protection he needs. Nobody's talking about anything. I wasn't finished with my informant, Frank Avery. There was a few things to clear up. This is the last one, Mr Drury. I'm... I'm sure they've heard about the job in Melbourne. I can smell it. Who's heard, Frank? Hanson's been arrested. They're looking for Williams. Jack Richards, they're going to fit it all together. He knows you're a knuck. He seen me talking to you. I'm in the shit up to me bottom lip. All right, Frankie, all right, mate. Well, you can have a holiday after this one, all right? Your flight details? Oh, thanks. I didn't know you were going to Melbourne. Yeah, the committal. Yeah. I thought you were trying to get out of that. There's nothing I can do. They'll see your face. Pam, I don't want to talk about this. If you want to get upset about it, there's nothing I can do. I'm not getting upset. I mean, the fact is, you're there in court. Pam, I'm the only one who got a good fix on Williams. I shook hands with the man. I can identify him. Now, if I don't go down to Melbourne and give evidence, the whole case falls apart. End of story. Mick, why is it that I can see the danger in what you're doing? I mean, you're kidding yourself. But you were the only one close enough to make a positive identification. Yes, that's mm -hmm. correct. He was introduced to me as Alan. It was dark? Well, not too dark for me to see his face. Apart from a few minor hitches, like Williams almost getting off at the committal, it was starting to smell like a successful operation. Williams is a heavy man. He commands a lot of power. And he doesn't like being inside. He knows I was a contact. I put you in touch with him, right? Well, he knows that. You know Frank Over is dead, don't you? No, I didn't. Hmm. Yeah, they found him in the hotel room with the needle sticking no, out of his Frank own. don't do drugs. Well, I was cutting out a lot of his action. Well, he doesn't do heroin. Right, oh, no, Jack. I, I'll give you this much. You suck me in. Yeah, well, nothing personal, Jack. It's what I'm paid for. I'll tell you all sorry. Got any messages? Mick, we well, ran into Rogers and he wants to see you about the job in Melbourne. My job? Yeah, something about $35,000. He said you'd know what's about. When? When are you ready? Roger, it's Mick Drury here from the drug squad. I believe you want to see me. Well, I can come and see you now. You... What did you want to see me about? Williams, you got charged in Melbourne. I'm going 
that a good friend who's a friend of his is prepared to pay 15 to 25 to see Williams gets off. Who is it? It's just a bloke I locked up a few years ago who's turned out to be OK. I heard it was 35,000. No. 15 to 25. Well, I can't do anything. Melbourne's got the brief. I'm just going down to give evidence. Anyway, if I change my story now, everyone's going to know I've got something. Under no circumstances take any money off anyone for anything. My hands are tied. I have to say no. All I can do is go down to Melbourne and give my evidence as it is. He's going to have to take potluck. Don't call me at work about this, because they're tapping our phones. The feds are tapping everyone's phones. I could hear their conversations even though I wasn't there. I could see their faces. I was on my own. What call me in for? We've got the street blocked off, it's all set up, and this bastard's going off his rocker. Too big for me, mate. I don't need this, Jim. I don't need this shit. Who is this bloke? Average family man with terminal cancer and too many beers in his belly. Oh, that's all right. Get away from me, you fuck! I think you cut him in half, Jim. The autopsy revealed the punter didn't have cancer at all. Some guys have no luck. It's the end of the line, Roger. Aye? Deputy Commissioner wants you out of the breakers. Jesus, he doesn't give up, does he? He's got a few more backing him up this time. Come on, Noel, I've been keeping my head down. I couldn't help what happened the other week. You killed the black. Mate, I wasn't even armed. I'm shifting you to Darlinghurst. God knows I don't want to do this. I'm not going back to a desk job. You'll like it there, mate. Pig's ass, Noel. Chunkies, drunks and busted up sluts. I'm in the breakers, Noel, at what I do best. I've got to do what I'm told, like we all do. Yeah, because I wiped that little piece of scum off the face of the earth. Oh, it's not good. Well, come on, mate, that's what this is all about. Bloody land Franchi. I did everybody a favour. Jesus, mate, don't you know why they're after your ass? Stand up to them, Noel. We're the power. We run the force, not them. It's too late for us, Roger. Mate, how far back do we go? Back to the 60s? 20 years, for Christ's sake. You dragged me out of uniform. You showed me the ropes. You told me I was headed for the top job. You taught me everything. All right, we've got some good memories. Yeah, all, all right, fine. OK, mate. Well, you remember the good times, and I'll remember the bad times. OK? Might be a lot of people who are interested in them. I know you, Jack. The only thing between your average punter and total anarchy is someone like me. I've been out there working for everybody. Who's going to work for me? There's too much blood under the bridge, Noel. The Deputy Commissioner thought I needed a rest. Something about getting me out of the limelight. I was disappointed, and I think the blokes on the squad were sorry to see me leave. Hey, Frank. Hey, Roger. How are you, mate? Good, mate. What's your story? Good to see you, mate. Want to come through here? I've got a nice desk just for you, especially for you. Yeah. People said I was ruthless, that I had a lot of influence. If my tower was so strong, why was I transferred overnight to Darlinghurst by the Commissioner? Who were my powerful friends within the police department? Ready on, B. 
Billy. We'll pop your top, mate. Yeah, Billy. Yeah. Hey. Packed house, mate. Look what the poor people are doing. Hey, the one track line, though. Yeah, drink up, Ned. This might be the last one of these things I come to. All right, you're going to be back. Everybody knows. Yeah, nothing to worry about. Two schooners out of Been able to speak a word to him for weeks. Yeah, and he, he didn't want to do it. Everybody knows oh, that. Oh, bullshit. Well. Noel could have stood up to him, Billy. He knows how to kick a head when it's sticking out of the pack. I never thought it'd be mine. I couldn't believe it. Well, sympathy's never been his strong suit, you know that. Look at this mob. Most of these bastards don't know what a fist in the mush is. Soft in the guts, desk jockeys. I know what they're trying to do to me. Cut your balls off? <laughs> Deputy Commissioner's a mongrel. Trying to dig something up on me for ages. Telling people I'm corrupt. But Noel, <laughs> Noel was a turn up for the books. There's a mate for you. Pig's ass. Look at these bastards. Whoa! Look at them. This is the brotherhood, mate. This is the brotherhood, eh? I know. Mate. This it. is the brotherhood we That's all it. talk about. And it is. It is. If they lie, you call it the truth. If they steal, you call it nine-tenths of the law. If they kill, you call it self-defence. What about Maury? This old man at the end of his career tells me it's OK to betray. Catch up and throw you to the dogs. All those years meant nothing. He always said, look after your brother. What he meant was, look after yourself, right? Someone ought to go in front of the trip. Hey, 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 Couldn't help it, mate. Couldn't help it. Couldn't you help ask it. me before you go and do something stupid like that, all right? Yeah, mate. Yeah. Listen. Yeah, mate. Listen, that sort of help he doesn't need. Yeah, mate. You don't know what's going on here. He had no right to do that to you, mate. He had no right to oh, do that to you. Shit. No right. You're one of us, mate. You always had me. You're the best cook I've ever seen. The best cook I've ever seen, mate. Don't you ever say that to me again. I'm on the inside. You understand me? I'm on the inside, looking out. You are on the outside. You will always be on the outside. You have no choice in that matter. Do you understand me? Yeah, mate. Jesus Christ. I've gained a reputation for being able to talk to yeah, criminals. Some of these hardened criminals, dangerous criminals even. Chris Flannery was included in this group. Hey, Ned. What do they call you? Uh, what is it? Uh, rent or something? Hmm? Uh, rent to kill, that's it. Rent to kill. Only my friends. She's just a funny name, eh? Put your mind to hide me on the door. I don't hide, mate. I spotted you as soon as I came in. Could have had a bullet between your eyes before you got off the stool. Are you always so shy? I hear you want to collect 50 for me, mate. Who told you that? Come on, we have a conversation here. It's worth shit. Well, I don't know. Don't tell me anyone. Knock me 50 grand. Knock me 50 grand. Ned, but somebody's been lying to you. 50 grand? You want to knock me 50 grand? Man? Ned, it's like I said, it's a misunderstanding. It's what do you bullshit. think? I'm, what do you think I'm a dog? You think I'm a dog? Huh? I 
think you're worth a lot more than 50 grand. <laughs> well, I just said I'd have to brown those a bit. <laughs> Do you any more about that cop? <laughs> Rennekill was a roving resource with time to kill, amongst other things. It seemed like a good idea to put him and Nettie together. Jesus Christ, you know, he only shot a lawyer. He should have been given a medal for it. What are you looking at? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just looking around, looking at the floor, looking at the door. What do you think I'm looking at? You're looking at my dress. <laughs> I'm not interested in looking up your frock. I doubt it, Billy. What is it with this jury? Has he seen Jesus or something? I land on him, he resisted. You know, how do you think it makes me feel? Jury's got no right to lay down the law. He's a cop. I put an acceptable business situation to him. Jesus, he's an asshole. Don't I know it? But right up my nose when the butter lipped little prick told me he wasn't coming to the party. Oh, have a good look, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> if Drew was going to cop a quid, I'd have known about it by now. Stuff him. Yeah, well, my mate's starting to sweat. <laughs> so is Bill. Eh? Yeah, well, you know, we should have a talk. Get him up from Melbourne. Why don't you offer him 50,000? Offer him 100,000? He's got to take it sooner, Alex. I'm not going back into jail. Listen, I've got half a million in cash. Right? Well, that's a lot of money. Now, Alan. you take whatever part of it that you need. How about that? I'm in your hands. That's right. Now, if this is not settled, the trial's in a couple of weeks, I'm not turning up. And Brian might, but I don't know what Jack will do. Who's Jack? Jack Richardson. He was charged with me and Brian. Can I see you for a minute? I'm in the middle of a chair. Yeah. Who have you got? I caught this one dealing quite openly in the surrounding streets and back lanes. And in the hotel itself. Can I give you some advice? Yeah. Lay off. What do you mean? I mean, you've got a big future in the job if you don't screw it up. And that means doing what I say. I'm only doing my job. Well, you do your job somewhere else. So it's under surveillance then? By me. Yeah? Yes. Sure. Take the advice, Sunshine. I'd hate to see you spend the next five years on four wheels. What are you doing? Real police work, the sort that puts hardened criminals behind bars, means forming relationships with people you wouldn't piss on if they're on fire. Shut the fuck up. I know there are certain policemen who are members of pistol clubs who enjoy all that, get some sexual gratification out of guns. I think a guy who wants to carry a gun like that, there's something strange about it. I just think he's Clint Eastwood. Hey, boss, what's the news on Drew? Uh, well, not good. Oh, yeah? Early days, yeah? Not anymore, it's not. To be a good policeman, you have to be a man of the world. <laughs> Call yourself a police officer. Righto, this ship. Roger. Yeah, three. Salt matters. 
to the drug, few drug matters. Daily as well. You got a heap. Can I see you Wait. in private for a minute about a matter? Not the same. Breaking his drug offences, etc. Just take it. I thought we should talk. Things don't look like they're getting any better. You know, they found Jack Richardson's body just outside of Melbourne. It was on the side of the road in the bush with two bullet holes in the back of the head. They killed him. These people don't muck around. You know, there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that they had him knocked. You know, or did it themselves. This matter's red hot. There are a lot of very important people watching it now. And I just wanted you to know that there's absolutely nothing that can be done. End of story. Drew is too committed to change his evidence. Is the money a problem? It's useless. He's not going to budge. I'm not trying to bullshit you. I can't. I'm not going to get you. Well, if no business can be done, what other options are there? What other options are there? I'm not going back into jail. That'll kill me. Now, come on, you know what I went through when I was in there last time. This goes to trial, I'm in for life. I can't face it. Mate, I'm gone if I can't do something. Are you going to help me or not? Well, I know what I'd do. What would you do? You want me to kill him? That's a pretty big step. Well, it looks like the only alternative you've got. Uh, look, you, you just do what you think's best. Roger's the best. Don't worry. Be all right. Rog, Alan and me have just been talking, and we think the only way to solve Alan's problem is for Drury not to make it to court. And I'm not doing it by myself. Can't a little prick shit it out. No, I've no time with him. He talks in his sleep. And what's he going to talk about us? He won't do it. It'll have to be a big drink. Well, he's got plenty. you got to do it with me. Yeah, we'll sort out details later. It'll be done. How much is it going to cost me, then? Well, you know what I usually cost, Alan. Fifty grand. So it'll cost me 50,000 then? No. 50 each. Okay. So you want the money up front? No, 50 now, 50 on result. And you're sure it'll be sweet, there'll be no kickback on me? Well, obviously there'll be talk, you'll be questioned, but if you. if you keep your trap shut, there shouldn't be any dramas. An, an alibi? What about an alibi? I'm going to be a prime suspect. Alan, this, you know? you've got to report twice a day on bail. Can't be in two places at once. Now, can you? You don't know how much I appreciate this. Thanks very much. I'm not doing this for you, asshole. Normally, I wouldn't give scum like you the time of day. Here's a dickhead who doesn't listen. You don't know who you're dealing with, You don't stand with, over me. You don't know the breakers anymore, are you? What's this? What's that, eh? Where do you get this? Your informant. He wouldn't give this to you. He wouldn't give this to you. We get new kids all the time. 
They're on probation, right? Some of them stay on and do well for themselves. Some don't. Good, uh, I'm going to have to report this to the Assistant Commissioner. You've been transferred to court duties. Have a good life. So did you send Kath out to check the place over? What, are you nuts? Why not? She's the brains of the operation, isn't she, mate? I reckon we take the easy way out, shoot them at home. Quick and simple. What sort of weapon, Ned? Hey, you leave me right out of it, mate. Sounds like you know what you're doing. I'd go for a magnum through a window. Just gotta wait, can't miss. <laughs> Bullshit, you can, mate. <laughs> Thanks, love. Shouldn't have done that. Hey, I love making sandwiches, Chris. What about it, Ned? You're not changing your mind, are you, mate? No, I just thought Nettie might like to pick up a bit of loose change. Oh, I'll leave your voice to it. What are you talking about? I'm not doing this by myself. He's a cop, for Christ's sake. Listen, mate, you leave me right out of it. Right. You said you were in. The two of us. You want me to bring Laurie up from Melbourne? Whatever you think's going to work. Hey, you're not going cold on me, are you, mate? Listen, he's a cop, Roger. Look at Lamb Franchi, for Christ's sake. He just waved his gun to cop and he's off tap. Just a patrol cop. There's right nothing special about sake. Drury. That's right. Roger offered him half his salary and he double crossed us. You're going to be taught a lesson, Ned. I really think you should think about it, mate. He's broken the code. God knows I've been patient, you know. Give him a chance. He's given us this problem. Moralising bastard got no right to act righteous. He knows what to expect. A real cop wouldn't have put me in this situation. You always said never shoot a cop. That was you, sunshine. I'm different. My mate's been trying to ring me urgently. He's, uh, he's going to ring me back with some urgent information. Are you working over the weekend? Well, no, I've got four days off. Will you be at home? Yes. Well, if anything urgent comes up, I'll ring you at home over the weekend. What's your number? Uh, it's 219-7199. Right. He was being useful. Sure. OK, I'll pop in with the designs. Bye. How's that going? Mm, okay. Uh, you're right. Just looking, are you? <laughs> <laughs> mm. What are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. You're eating so well. Very proud. Now you're going to show your chicken how well you eat. Mmm. Can I see your chicken? Yeah. Absolutely. You can put him in a Mason Street. He's only reserved there. Who was she? I'm not telling you. You stay away from it. Oh, yeah, she's good. I'll put her right up. I'm, I'm gonna take you in. Me they hate their country, time. these blokes. They hate their country's greatest asset. You can't be. Gunner Saints! Come on! If there's any changes, I don't want you to give him any shit. I don't want you to be late. Yeah, shut up, will you? Just shut up, will you? Don't you treat me like a kid. Just a shut up, will you? Listen, St Kilda, grand final, 66. Barry Breen kicked the winning point. It when you've been there 20 been minutes, ring me up and I'll come pick you they up. They killed him. You know why? Because I was there. 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 Here, go and wait in the car.
that's weird. Thank you. 